Well, hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to my channel, Simon's Astro. So today I'm going to be talking about some finishing touches in my observatory and some future plans for the channel. Hope you like the video, so let's get into it. So, some finishing touches in the observatory. This is where we're at. I've got these covers over the switches. This is the main power switch, so that prevents me from accidentally killing the power, which I have done in the past. I've walked past and leant on the switch and it killed the power to the whole observatory. It also protects the switch because these are normal household switches. They're not waterproof, but with these covers, these covers are waterproof and they're silicon sealed around the top edge and all around the sides, which keeps any moisture completely away from the switch. And I've got the same with these double sockets. And here, as you can see, I've got a USB socket. So it's handy for plugging in if I need to charge up the iPad or the iPhone or anything else come to that. This is a light switch. And it's further down because it's powered off the uh, um, socket ring. And so it's powered down to, uh, I think it's either three or five amps. And it does the light. Go. and I've got some conduit here where the cables all run inside nice and neatly and the power supply and the internet cables are coming up from the floor there from the pipes put these shelves in and this is where my mains power adapter live so if I just switch this on there we go that's now sending power through these two connectors here up to the rig. So there's no power. If I switch this on, you'll see it powers on. So I've got the power adapter in this plastic box. It's got holes drilled all the way around to let the heat out. What I do as well, when it's running all night, I just lift the lid off and I just leave a little gap in the bag because that's where the um, heat distribution fans are on the power adapter. So if I just leave that off a little bit like that, that lets the heat out. Now I'm still yet to connect to Nina and get the um, rig running with my mini PC. I'm going to take off the ASIR Plus and I'm going to put the, um, I've got the Mealy Quieter 3 which is going to take the place of the ASIR. And then here, I have an internet cable. It's got a bit of tape on the end at the moment. So this will then come up and plug into the uh, Mealy Quieter 3. This is coming through this conduit and it is coming, well it's pulled up here at the moment at the back there. But it's gonna come up into this box because this box has got this um, internet hub, it's a powered hub, and it will be um, switched on, plugged in, and one of these internet cables, these are the two internet cables I've got coming in, one from the house, one from the garage, um, or my office. Um, this red one here comes from the house, so that's already plugged in, in at the house end to one of these, which is plugged into my main internet so, um, and I've already tested it. I've plugged this in, I've powered it up, and it worked. And I've had, I've had um, internet right up to this point here. So, all I've got to do is swap over, put the um, quarter three on, and then I can run the rig from my PC um, in the house, which I've got Nina um, loaded on the PC, and I'm going to start using Nina. So that's my next quest. Um, right, so I've got two of these cables, one come from the office, which when I'm working from the office, all I've got to do is swap these two cables over and um, then I can control everything from the PC in the office. So I still have Nina on there as well. Um, right, this is my, my little drawers some cables, uh, this is the roof controller, um, let's 
spare power cables and bent off masks. A couple of filters, my blower and my spirit level. Just a few bits and bobs, some grease, which I put on the um, track up here to help that run smoothly. Some other bits and pieces. There's another one of these catches here. These catches are pretty good. I'll show you how these work. When I've got um, uh, strong winds predicted, I come in here and I just do this. That's a bit strange. It's gone a bit, it doesn't line up. That's unusual. Does the roof move too far over for some reason? It looks like it has, it's gone too far. Yeah, look at that. The roof has gone too far. interesting. What I'm going to do, it's not raining, I'm going to open the roof and close it again and see if it resets. Here we go. Close it now and see what happens. So what happens here is I put this up on there. And it's actually a little bit better now. It's lining up better and clamp them down really tight. I've got four of these. One in its corner, and that really isn't going to go anywhere. You're going to hear by the clunk of, of, of the um, clamps here when they engage, they really click in tight and clamp it down very tight. So I feel quite secure now that we can withstand some really strong winds if and when we get them, and we do get them, so. But I just must remember to undo it when I want to open the roof. Because the first time, I forgot. I only had one clamp on at the time, that was this one. Which, well, it's not that one because that's a replacement. Because the one I had on here, when I tried to open the roof, it completely bent all this, totally bent it. Surprised it didn't burn the motor out, but it didn't. But luckily, I stopped it in time. And uh, I had to replace it and get a new one of these. So I must remember make sure the clamps are off when I want to open the roof. So that's um, where we're at at the moment. Oh, yeah. I've got some uh, nice matting on the floor. There's another mat here, which I can just take out and shake the dust out. Um, I'll just put this nice little shelf on here so that I've got another USB socket here. So if I want to charge my phone up, I can sit it on the shelf. And if I want to sit in here with a rig at any time, I'll just sit in this corner somewhere to put my phone. Um, as you can see, it's been painted this nice blue color. This is actually what they call a bathroom paint because it's, it's moisture resistant. It's designed to be in the bathroom where the walls are ring and wet. So when the roof is off all night and these walls condensate, I have water running down these walls. So this bathroom paint is going to protect the wood behind. Um, around the edge of the flooring here, I'll put a silicon seal all the way around to stop water from running down the walls and getting underneath this mat. And I've done that all the way around. So inside the observatory is actually completely finished now, apart from me just changing the rig over. But the actual building is done. I think it's done. <laughs> I was going to paint this. I haven't done it yet, obviously, but 
I may do. I may paint a starry picture on just for the hell of it, but we'll have to see. That's something I can do in the future. But it, it's all together and it works. I'm really pleased with it. And I'm looking forward to um, controlling the rig with Nina so I can hopefully get an Arduino connected to the internet here and use Nina to control the um, roof and open and close it after an image session. Uh, that will be lovely. <laughs> at the moment, I am leaving the roof open and I'm getting up at about four or five in the morning. I'm looking out the window, checking that the uh, scope is back in the home position because I, I send it back to home after the um, imaging session. Uh, it's a setting within the ASAM Plus. Um, when I see that's in, in the home position, I know the session's finished and now I can, I can press the remote button from my bedroom window and close the roof that way. But when I can get Nina running the whole rig, then I won't have to worry about it. Hopefully I won't have to worry about it. I'll probably still worry about it, but not so much. Anyway, that's it. I'm not imaging tonight. Although it looked clear, it's actually going to be cloudy shortly. So um, I'm not even, even going to bother starting. I'm actually now going to go in for a coffee and do some work on a PC. So there we have it. This is my observatory. Um, and I'm going to say it's completely finished. Almost. <laughs> I'm just going to show you my future plans. This here, I'll just switch the camera around, is currently my works office. I work from home, I'm in the building trade. This is my works office. So it's also a nice space for me to do my astro from in the future. Obviously the most important part in here is the coffee station. But when I give up work, it's not for another couple of years, but when I do give up work, this space is going to become my studio. Um, it's going to be where I run my rig from, um, where I'll do my YouTube videos and all of my editing. So when I built my observatory, I put in two internet cables. One came from the house and one came from this office here. So the plan is to use the internet cable and the PC from the house while I'm still working. But when I give up work, then I'm going to turn this space into my studio and I will run everything from here. So this is the future and I'm looking forward to when I can make that happen. Part of my astro journey will include me going out to campsites in a dark sky location. So I did this last year where I hired a camper van and I went out to, a, I think it was a Portal 2 or Portal 3, took my portable gear with me and uh, we had a couple of good clear nights and it was really nice to get out to a dark sky location. And it was also fun camping for three nights. So I've progressed from there slightly. I've now bought a van, a VW panel van, which I'm still using for work at the moment. But what I plan to do is convert the van into a camper so that I can use it to go out to dark sky locations and have a long weekend away camping. So the plan is to keep using the van for a year or two while I'm still working and then I will do a full conversion. But today I'm actually taking the van to a place nearby to me um, and I'm going to have some privacy glass windows fitted in the van. So in these boxes here there are six privacy glass windows. There's going to be two on each side. And there'll be two on the back doors here. There'll be two there. And then another two on this side. So the next time you see this van, it'll look a little different. Thanks for watching my video, I hope you liked it. 
And also you've had a little look into the future of Simon's Astro. Uh, but for now, if you would like to follow my Astro adventures, then please hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already. And I'd like to thank all of my existing subscribers. And of course, I wish you all clear skies.